A quick nerd alert here. Set those intentions now. Why? Because as the song is singing, we are entering the dawn of Aquarius. And that's not all. Tonight, the two largest planets in our solar system will put on a show that has not been seen in centuries. You may not get another chance to see it in your lifetime. Mark Strassman shows you why you should go outside and look at the sky at sunset. Astronomer Christopher Dupree is about to see something hidden from Earth since Galileo first pointed his telescope at the stars. Wow, they're both in the finder. I've never seen that before. Our solar system's two biggest planets in one viewfinder. That's Jupiter down to the right, Saturn up to the left. That's awesome. All month, just after sunset, sky watchers have captured the pair of planets slowly coming together in the southwest sky. Tonight, they'll overlap appearing to merge into a single source of light, an astronomical conjunction. It's a very slow motion crash. In Metro Atlanta, Debris directs the Bradley Observatory at Agnes Scott College. Whereas in actuality, how close are they? Oh, they're hundreds of millions of miles apart. It's a bit of a cosmic trick of the eye. Yeah, exactly, just like constellations are. It has to do with orbits and tilts and cosmic clockwork. Yeah, it's like a big machine that's just running forward and on the 21st is when all those pieces are aligned just right for these two planets to get really, really close. That big machine is our solar system, constantly in motion. Every 20 years, Jupiter laps Saturn and both planets line up with Earth. It is true that these two planets did come close actually 20 years ago, but you couldn't see them up in the sky. They were too close to the sun. The big difference here is that you can actually see them after dark, and that's what's unusual about it. The last visible conjunction this close was in 1226, nearly 800 years ago. Tonight's falls on the winter solstice, like a star of Bethlehem for Christmas week, 2020. Since the whole solar system is this kind of clockwork, you can wind the clock back for thousands of years, and you can see where planets would have been at a time in the past. Kepler is one of the astronomers who actually hypothesized that the star of Bethlehem could have been a planetary conjunction. These two wise men are smart enough to know we need clear skies tonight. If there are clouds in the sky, you're stuck with it. Given how rare this moment is, how maddening is it going to be if it's overcast? As an astronomer, I'm used to that. You know, if you can go out the night before or the night after, it'll still be an impressive sight. And won't happen again for 60 years. To me, some of the most wonderful experiences that you can do viewing the night sky are the ones that require nothing. They don't require a telescope. They don't require binoculars. It's just you looking at the night sky. All you need is your stargazing curiosity. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Decatur, Georgia.